Oh, folks. Z Man works again. Oh, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. going on folks bad Chess tv here with another one unboxing let me tell you something we got great things for top watch fall season one of the best times in my life best times ever i'm talking ever and when i mean ever last time i was at a certain lake okay i think it was like 15 minutes 30 minutes i caught over 15 or 20 bass and like because i got on the school and it happens at least once or twice during the fall time where you can just get on them and get on them and get on them. it's like every other cast every few casts you're all you're getting on one whether it be top water shallow shallow cranking you know buzz baits right top waters walking baits got to love them so here are a few things that i particularly love about fall fishing love about fall time bait let's get into it rock it all right folks first we have up my some of my greatest top waters that i've ever used that were sent to me oh my god thank you again tackle warehouse gotta love these guys but anyway look 13 fishing top water baits as you can see this is a dual pitch bait i use these for mostly muddy water due to the what Yes, you heard it. The sound. That sound profile is what I love. Okay. This one, dual pitch, 94. The reason why I got 94 series is because, or 94 size is because of the size of shad that are in our ponds here and bigger lakes that are here in Southern California. Our next one up is the Pathfinder bait. This is a fairly new bait to uh 13 fishing this is in the 110 size but i love these because we can walk these over over grass so that helps a lot when those fish are under that matted vegetation and there's those little holes but yet they're on the edge of those weeds now you have a chance to actually climb them on top of those weeds and let them sit there and then erratically come off those weeds and usually that usually draws a strike as you can see guys what move it up you can see there's a ball in there and listen to it listen to it yeah so there's a little rattle rattle in there that's from 13 fishing gotta love it all right got to love it All right, folks, our second set of baits that we got from good old Tech Warehouse. Obviously, let's, matter of fact, let's start from the bottom this time. This one is, what, Fleabag 110 Topwater Bait. Got a, I, I like it. Who's it by? Huh, Jenko Fishing. Okay, not a problem. I certainly like, oh yeah, love the rattles in this. Love the rattles in this. And they look like they come with some pretty darn sharp hooks. Oh, yeah. May not even have to change those out. But we're going to see. But as you know, top water, fall, rocking that out. Next one, yellow magic. Yellow magic. Uh, Havana, Japanese. What a Japanese design top water bait. Which I got it, obviously, because there are trout here in Southern California and quite a bit of our lakes. So with knowing that, grabbing this as wound, as looking like a wounded uh, trout would be really, really good. And as you can see, it comes in this hard, this hard little case here. It comes in a pretty doggone hard case. But are, uh, those look like some stout, serious hooks. Jeez. All right. Nice. Woo. That is serious. All right. Our next one up. Is from Tackle. What? As we know, Tackle Sprinkler Frog. Huh? But I guess they make top water baits too with solid hooks. All right, let's check out our sound profile. Okay. Not so crazy. Okay. 
It just says knocker on it. Okay. All right. Okay, a, a lower pitch. Seems like a lower pitch bait. A little bit lower pitch bait. Not not too crazy. Nothing too crazy. But uh, okay. I like that. I think this is gonna come and really gonna come into play there. You know. All right. And as everyone knows, yes, yeah, Strike King got to love the Strike King. Okay. No, this isn't a silent. This is. Little bit louder pitch than the uh, tackle here, but huh, nice. Gotta love it. Top water. Let me start walking these. Huh, do I have to change out the hooks? Looks like I may not have to. Let me see. Let me see, change out the hooks. Okay. Okay, KVD. Man, your face is being covered up. That's okay. You guys get the gist. Oh, there it is. Hey, guy. But <laughs> awesome. Gotta love it. Top water. Pfft, another one. And if you guys don't know, gotta have some trailer hooks. Gotta have some trailer hooks. I do have more in my inventory, but these are certainly gonna come into play. Almost, it's so weird. Let me let me tell you. Hold on, hold on. Tackle tip, tackle tip, tackle tip. Really quick, tackle tip. So, number twos. Number twos and number fours are usually the ones that I use on my trailers. On every last one of these walking baits, every last one of them, they'll, I'll either put a number two or I will put a number four, especially on the tail end of it. Only thing that I will ever change really is usually the tail, but if I happen to change the one that is under it, this one, you know, that hook that's right there, or if it has two here, um, sometimes I may put uh, triple grip hooks on there, triple bit grip hooks. But oftentimes, I usually put a round bin. I know a lot of people say, well, why? Why would you do that? Well, as you guys know, top waters, what do they do? They slash at them. They slash at them quite a bit. And you can catch a fish just off of them slashing. Just that simple. All right? Just that simple. And last but not least, okay, is boom. This right here. The small rattle trap. This is my muddy water gotta love it rattle trap loud rattling let me let me focus 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 loud rattling hard vibrating bait this one and it's it's a very small one it's one of the smaller ones that they have let me see uh so hold on let's see here it's one of the smaller ones so let's let's kind of inspect it here like it's literally okay let's compare it a little bit this is this is not a very big bait. So, look at it compared to the size of that. Okay, it's a very small rattle trap. And for some places that even I fish, in our in our lakes and ponds here, and you know, bigger bodies of water, this thing does have weight. So you're able to cast it quite a ways. You know, quite a ways. You definitely gotta change out these hooks right here. Um, but yeah, certainly worth it. Great, either muddy water, eh, might even be able to use it in clear. Who knows? Oh, I'm sorry, stain water for the most part. But, yeah. But anyway, that's just one of the boxes. Let's get to going on the other one. Favorite thing during the fall. As you guys can see, what type of colors that I do have. I only use Picasso Lures high performance skirts. I love these skirts because they're full they're bobus, they they really make that skirt flare and shine and all the other kind of stuff. So, Picasso lures, skirts, got to have these things, okay? This is right now predicated around more muddy water, stained water type, type deal. Because, you know, you never know. But I do have other ones for clear water as well as stained water. So... Picasso lures, gotta love those. Moving on to Z-Man and the jackhammer that came in the other box. This skirt, love this skirt, but I haven't really seen this very much at all, but this is more of a crawl pattern. I got this majority for like thinking about a head. I'm really thinking ahead is really what it is. I'm thinking ahead, thinking ahead. That's what you gotta do in the game of fishing. Think ahead. Your winners, this is gonna be a bait that you can 
bounce off the bottom, you know, do this off the bottom, bounce up and down, up and down. That's going to be an awesome thing. Yes, got to have that. So, Boss Outdoors, got to love these guys. I've never even seen a buzz bait like this with this head. This head is flat completely on the bottom. But the thing about it is I love the design. The hook shank, the hook shank is far enough back. <clears throat> the hook shank is far enough back. But also the tip of where that, uh, 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 we could get one out here. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me kind of get one out here. There we go. So, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, this barb, this wire right here, is far enough back. Now, you could decrease it. You can cut it, do whatever. You can put your bait blades on here and make it shorter if you want to. But I recommend, actually, this one is pretty darn good. But it's in the variation of the head because why? You don't want them just slapping at the blade and not getting the hook. So, hook to blade ratio, I wanna say. Hook to blade ratio. Yes, and yes, they're blanks because I use these up here, which Glad Tackle Warehouse had these. Thank you very much, Tackle Warehouse. The blades, they also had these blades, and it's really good to customize. Customize your buzz baits so you can get the best sound out of them or you can make them as silent as you want them. That's the good part about buzz bait fishing. You can make them as loud as you want, you can make them as quiet as you want, or even in between, something like that. But, moving on. These, you can find these, or used to be able to find these in Walmart. I don't know why they don't carry these anymore. Maybe just because people bought them like crazy. I went to three different Walmarts and still could not find these. But these, are um yes you guys see it lucky e stripe buzz bait these are freaking walmart buzz baits but they work extremely well extremely well i have caught several bass on these i i obviously do do my due diligence people i take these skirts off replace them with these skirts i take these skirts off and i put on these skirts okay I put on Picasso Lures skirts. They do fit on here and you can take one off and variate it very well without cutting the line. If you need, whether it be a, 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 a water clarity or notice that the fish are going at certain baits, certain colors, you can variate them. And now going to the blades on these things, the blades are pretty good. But what I do is I modify the blade. I keep the same blade on here oftentimes. I keep the same blade on here. But I've been experimenting, and I'm going to show you guys how to not only take these off, but to replace them with something like a black blade. This is Q14. Okay, these are black blades. These are black spinnerbait blades. You can make them quiet. You can make them loud. So, yeah, you can definitely find these on uh, Tackle Warehouse. Okay? So, yeah, that is also our top water, top water, top water. Yes. Got to love it. Another one. Is that a Walmart buzz bait? Dig on right. Change the skirt. But got the Boom! Bash S T V. That is fall fishing. Okay, that is fall fishing. And we're going to get to more fishing as soon as we can. I'm going to give you more videos, more in-depth look to what we got to do for fall fishing. Fall fishing is a great, great, great time of the year. And at this time, you should be catching quite a bit of bass by now. Holla at your boy, Bass Jazz TV. Another one. Peace.